A three-dimensional war machine has swept onto the continent of Europe. With NBC, Invasion News takes precedence over all regular programs. In addition to special news broadcasts, bulletins will be brought to you as received. W-E-A-F. Ladies and gentlemen, Molly and I and our sponsor would like to say that we're mighty proud to be associated with the radio industry, which at this moment is fulfilling its promise of instant communication in time of world crisis. The next half hour will be devoted to bringing you information immediately as received by NBC's news bureaus. Between times, we will present songs of the services played and sung by Billy Mills Orchestra, the King's Men, and dedicated to our fighting forces on all fronts. And now for music and the news as it arrives, as Billy Mills gives us a George M. Cohan medley. <laughs> from Fibber McGee and Molly later. This is Harlow Wilcox speaking. And now to the men who deliver our fighters to their posts, to those men who man the long sea lanes to victory, the King's Men dedicate this stirring tribute, the song of the Merchant Marine. Sail any river 
Billy Mills and the orchestra bring us now one of the most familiar of all marching songs, the United States Field Artillery March. in the vanguard of any invasion fleet are the boats and the men of the United States Coast Guard. To these men, Billy Mills and the orchestra dedicate the Coast Guard song, Semper Paratus. Here's a song that's one of my favorites. The name of it is The Time Is Now. And it's particularly appropriate because if there ever was a time that was now, it is now. Here it is, as arranged and sung by the King's Men. <laughs> Your heart in the fight for the right to defend to the end all we love. When you meet 
the final test with the best that you hand for the land we adore and oh glory of The time is now, the time is now. It's time to heed the writing on the wall. For the world won't wait since fate set the date and the time. The time is now. Oh, that Yankee do or die is on the go again. And they'll see a mighty show again. The curtain's going up. Can't you hear that call? That call to give you all and the time. The time is now. Welder with your flame, are you ready? Artist with your brush, what do you see? Gunner is your eye, true and steady. Civilian, do you really want to be free? Carpenter, miner, pilot, trainer, riveter, driver, entertainer, army, navy, and marines, ready now to change the scenes. The time is now, the time is now. It's time to heed the writing on the wall. For the world won't wait since fate set the date and the time. The time is now. That old Yankee do or die is on the go again. And they'll see a mighty show again. He'll go boy blow again. Can't you hear that call? That call to give your all and the time. The time is now. The time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Now that favorite song of the G.I.s, this is The Army, from the show of the same name, played by Billy Mills and the orchestra. Darby and the King's Men put into words the feeling in the hearts of all of us as they sing, This is Worth Fighting For. Oh, 
The familiar national emblem march really needs no introduction as Billy Mills and the orchestra swing into its stirring martial strains. Orchestra and the King's Men give us the Song of the Bombardier, a song dedicated to those men who look through their bomb sites for a glimpse of the victory to come. The Song of the Bombardier. Said the bombardier to the pilot, give us a little ride. The pilot said to the navigator, won't you slide inside? The navigator, he looked around and said to the engineer, Your hands are dirty, your pants are dirty, you're dirty behind the ear. Said the bombardier to the gunner, How are we 
extra lead. The pilot said to the radio man, how's the weather ahead? the greatest of American tunes is the ever-familiar American Patrol, Billy Mills and the Orchestra. orchestra brings us a stirring tribute to the courage of the men and women of our armed services everywhere as they play Salute to the Armed Forces.
From the NBC newsroom in Hollywood, here's the latest version of the invasion battle coming from the enemy. Swedish correspondents in Berlin said the German high command expects new and larger landings before Wednesday dawn and declared that several divisions now are fighting in the big beachhead in some places hand-to-hand. These correspondents quoted Hitler's command as saying the invasion front stretches 240 miles from Calais to the Cherbourg Peninsula and to the Channel Islands. In a broadcast statement, the German high command described the fighting in the Cherbourg Le Havre area as being in full swing and declared that everywhere along the invasion front, British and American troops are putting up a most tenacious resistance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in closing with the Army hymn, we know we are expressing the prayers of all of you for our men and women in the service. It's comforting to know that they have the finest equipment and the best leadership of any army in the world, and that no military operation in history has had the careful planning and preparation which preceded this invasion. In addition, our men have a weapon which our enemies cannot have, the knowledge that God is on our side. To us, D-Day means divine help, In each hour, the hopes of all of us for a speedy victory. In a few seconds, we will hear from the President of the United States in Washington. So until next week, good night. Good night, all. This is the National Broadcasting Company.